So, you want to know my opinions on the presidential election? It doesn't really matter. People have been talking too much about this to the point of redundancy. I don't want to talk about the presidential election. Instead, I want to talk about something that I've been hinting in the past couple of videos, but I decided that it would be a good idea to talk about it right now. The reason why I want to talk about this particular topic right now is because, you know, in we're in a war every day. We're in this war of ideas every single day. Every single day we're going to come into disagreements and that's where another battle starts. A battle of ideas starts. That's where another, another battle of idea begins. And in that battle of idea, you're going to use your best weapon in order to combat other people's ideas that you consider bad or you consider, you know, not productive and you counter it with your own ideas. And maybe, just maybe, we can either come to an agreement, come to a middle ground, or just agree to disagree on certain issues. To that, that is a very good battle. And this is, this is a very productive battle. And I like to have a battle of engaging ideas, discussions. And I love to see people's, people engaging uh, between ideas and engaging into this battle. I love to see their participation in this, sharing their ideas and opinions and how they try to articulate their opinions and what kind of trail of logic that they have in order, in order to f formulate those opinions. Because, you know, when people formulate a particular opinion, the best kind of character judgment is not the opinion itself. Let's just say that uh, you're like Man Fear Air, uh, the developer of Bioware, and who said that he, you, you, I absolutely hate white people and I wish they all should just die in hell or something like that. By the way, he did say it. I have an image gallery compilation on it, link in the description. So let's just say that he has this position to hold that he absolutely hated white people. That's not the problem. That's not the problem at hand. The problem is, how can he come into that conclusion? What is the trail of logic that makes him to be on that position? That's the key issue here. That's the key problem here. Like I said in my, uh, in my Heat Street video, uh, the, one that, uh, the one that wanted to be noticed, like in the description as always, the basis that forms those opinions are a hell of a lot more important than the opinion itself. So let's just say you're a Hillary supporter, if you have reasonable arguments, that uh, convincing arguments of why you support Hillary, you can go ahead and support Hillary. If you have reasons to support Donald Trump, you can go ahead and support Donald Trump. And I, yes, I know the presidential election result in Donald Trump win, I know, but I'm just showing you the point here. You need to have a very good basis to form those opinions, a very good trail of logic that can come into the conclusion of why you support Hillary or support Donald Trump or why you hate white people. And Manfear Air has come into this position, and we want to know why. How can he come to the conclusion, uh, this opinion? How can he come into this particular position? And uh, I think I started way too early on that. So a uh, little bit of backstory. So Manfear Air, just in case you don't know, he is a developer at Bioware who develops Mass Effect Andromeda at this very moment. He has shown his very despicable hatred to white people multiple times again image gallery below in the description and as a consumer of bioware uh not me but you know ask people who actually consume video as a video gamer as a gamer i see this sort of thing and especially when the fact that his name is tied to bioware i get concerned about it why is bioware letting this guy spewing hatred to white people you know 80 percent of his customers there's a good reason why I show my face, because, you know, uh, from another person of color to another person of color, because, you know, these people absolutely love race so much, to the point where, you know what, I'm just going to show my face. Eh, whatever. So, the point that I'm trying to say here is lots of people and customers are going to be concerned about this. They're going to be concerned that this guy over here is spewing nothing but racist white hatred. And I have proofs of that. I have evidence of that. Link is always in the description down below. It's not satire. He has been doing this for 20 plus tweets. And, you know, as a customer, you should be concerned about this. Because this is an employee of a very big company who, who has made lots and lots of games in the past. And uh, he went on to lash to white people. Now, what are the reasons why I... Uh, want to make this video is because the abyss it is a scary scary place and if we stare at it for far too long 
we might drop fall down into it into this dark deep abyss that we fear the most and i fear that i don't want to be in that position i don't want to drop into the abyss i want to stay up there better than the abyss so when people come in here and suggest that man fear air should be fired i disagree i disagree vehemently on that particular notion i don't think he should be fired for his opinion what i do think it's that it's the most rational thing to do here is as consumers as consumers okay we confront him about this issue not not ask by where to just directly fire at him or something we we find out that he hates white people now some of you guys uh some of you guys uh the consumers are obviously going to be white so you come in there and you confront him about this issue why is he doing all of this thing why does he hate white people so much so Imagine my surprise when <laughs> he doesn't want to engage in a conversation. He doesn't want to engage in a conversation. He just wants to block people out of it. When people bring in actual legitimate points that, you know, not all white people are racist, not all white people are the things that he say, over-exaggerating, everything like that, he blocks people. He blocks one of my fellow patrons and a subscriber of mine, Rags. He also blocked a couple of people. So this is clearly a person who doesn't want to engage in a conversation. And he is employed in Bioware. Now, am I saying that the action for that is should be firing? No. No, of course not. You're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to hold that opinion. But if your opinion, if the opinion that you have goes completely unchallenged, you don't want people to challenge your opinions. That's where I have a huge concern about. You have an opinion of hating white people? Fine, as long as you have a good trail of logic that backs them up. So when people want to ask, how can you come into this conclusion? How can you come into this trail of logic that white people are horrible, horrible assholes and everything like that? When people have been asking you all these questions and you decided to back away, block them, that shows concern to me. Why is this person not even, not even punished? Because you know, the thing about employees and customers is that, yes, there are going to be asshole customers out there, definitely. But as employees, as employees, okay, if you have an opinion that will incite some form of response to your customers, especially when your response involves 80% of America, don't expect everybody to agree with you on the position that you hold. People will disagree with you. People will disagree with you vehemently, especially when you lash out to 80% of the total population of America. So when you say that you hated white people, of course there are going to be responses from white people. There are, of course, going to be a response to this because this is blatant racism. And of course, you're going to say, oh, there's, there's no such thing as racism to white people. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and put in that excuse for too long. You know, that's the kind of excuse that would excuse bad behaviors. My question here is not whether or not this guy should be fired, but whether or not he has been confronted about this. Whether or not he has been, you know, one of the people at, the, at Bioware has come forward and come into him and say, hey, what are you doing? Are, are you seriously going to do this? Are you, seriously gonna, are you seriously hating on white people right now? Has any person at Bioware ever confronted this guy? That's my question. That is my question. And why? Because this guy has not done any sort of repercussion. Not even a warning. Not even a suspension. Not even just a brief tweet from the boss saying, Hey, dude, calm down. He hasn't gotten any. For some reason. We need that sort of consequences for this. Because, you know, if you have opinions, don't expect those opinions to be... Don't expect everybody to agree with you. Because, you know, this, this world is populated by 3 billion people. And these 3 billion people have different ideas. And they're going to clash uh, that clash all of these ideas together in a huge clusterfuck. Don't expect people to agree with everything you say. So when Manfear Air come in here and say that he absolutely hated white people... Don't expect people to agree with your position on that. Don't expect 
everybody to agree with you on that particular position. <sighs> so, I disagree vehemently on the notion that we should fire him. That's not the issue here. The issue here is whether or not he has been confronted about this issue and how does he react to it? Because, you know, if I were the manager of BioWare, if I were CEO of BioWare and I come into him and say, hey, why are you tweeting on this? Why are you tweeting on all of this? Why, why are you tweeting all of this stuff? Hating on white people. It's not okay, okay? I have customers too. They're white people. You, you, you can't just do all of this. It, it might turn them all off from my products. I, I'm just going to give you a fair warning, okay? I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to fire him directly. That will be a reckless move. This is coming from a reckless person. So firing him is not the option. It has never been the option. I don't want to fire him because that would be a reckless, stupid action. But I do want to do, but I really want to do in that particular, in that particular uh, situation, especially knowing that I'm his boss, I have the right to evaluate and ask the performance and the attitude of my employees. So I'm going to come to him and have this discussion. Hey, man, what are you doing? What's going on here? So if you're a customer and you, you know, you don't, uh, you're concerned about this sort of thing, don't ask the CEO of Bioware to, you know, like fire him. Go ask them, hey, are you okay with this? Is this okay? Are you concerned about this? Do you want to confront your employee about this? Can you please ask your employee about this, please? Because, you know, that's the most important thing. Asking for a discussion, asking for him to represent his side. And especially if you do that to his boss, ask him to his boss, hey, can you please, can you please do a little bit of reevaluation to this person? Because, you know, this person has been lashing out on Twitter. And of course, if that happens, if I'm, again, if I'm the boss, I will come into him and have a discussion have a little bit of a reasonable chat between each other. But then, because, you know, I disagree with him, I got dismissed. I got called a racist. And uh, you're a racist, boss. You're a racist if you disagree with me. And to the point, I say, hey, hey, chill, man. Chill, man. I'm not being a racist. I'm just questioning, okay, your stance on this. What gives you, what makes you to come into this conclusion that all, all white people are this and this and that? But you say, you disagree with me, you, uh, you, you, you're a racist if you disagree with me. Like, no, we need to have a discussion in this. Because if you have an extreme position, no matter how extreme they are, it will be healthy to understand your perspective. Because, you know, that's ultimately the judge of character. That is ultimately the judgment of how your character works, how your brain works, how the trail of logic that comes to your head works. That's the ultimate thing that I want to know about you. But you have to come in here, you have to, uh, when I confronted you about all of this, and you have to say that I'm a racist, then I confronted you about a Twitter and you blocked me. You blocked your own boss and your own CEO, so. <sighs> and here's the thing, the reason why he gets away with all of this is probably, I'm just speculating here, is because he's a person of color and he should not get any sorts of punishment for all of that which I say bullshit. No, he should be at the very least confronted. Confronted about this issue. He should be at the very least for the people that buy aware themselves to go into him and ask him, what the hell is this? At least if that conversation happened, it would be nice. I am not asking you to fire this person. No, I'm asking you to please have a discussion with this person and just try to have just try to form a reasonable conversation with him that's all i'm asking to you because this is un this is a very unreasonable act and this should be discussed this should be uh, this sh should we should have an equal ground on this we should have some form of an agreement something that we can both agree on on this entire issue we need to have some form of a you know i can't just let this person to just lash out to everybody block everybody and lets him get away with it. And I'm not saying to fire him again, again, again. If I fire him, 
That is a restriction of his freedom of speech. And here's the thing about freedom of speech. It's like a pen. Pen is mightier than a sword. Lots of people have been saying that. It is mightier than a sword. And the freedom of speech gives you the right to have this pen. You know, this pen that can change the entire world. It can either make the world to be a better place or it can make the world to be a horrible, horrible place. This pen is unpredictable. It depends on the person who holds the pen instead of the, instead of the pen itself. So when I come in there and I fire him because of him using this pen, that would be hypocritical of me. I don't want to do that. That is just basically me. Hey, I'm going to take your pen away from you. You're not allowed to do that. Go out, get out of here. No, I'm instead going to use my own pen, my own speech to come into him and have a discussion, have a debate, have a little bit of a reasonable middle ground to all of this. But if his attitude proves that this sort of thing is impossible, then maybe I can't do anything. And I, I should probably give you a little bit of a punishment for that because this attitude, this kind of attitude is not acceptable in this in this company. Again, if I am the uh, if I'm the CEO of Bioware, hypothetically speaking, but unfortunately, at this very moment, I am a consumer. And this is what you need to understand. When I make videos about this, when I make videos about uh, NFM, for example, when I make videos about Crunchyroll, uh, not video, but Crunchyroll, but referencing Crunchyroll and one of the things that they say, and when I, you know, show uh, the, the, you know, the employees at the company doing bad things, I am, I never said once that, hey, you should boycott the company, that like you should definitely ban the company out. I say, there's one point in my triggered uh, part four video, I say, you might reconsider your subscription to Crunchyroll. That's all I say. I never said, go ban, ban Crunchyroll or just go a boycott Crunchyroll or anything like that. I just say, you might want to reconsider. You might want to reconsider. Basically, that's all I'm saying. But I never actually went on to incite actions, negative sorts of actions towards a particular company, including Bioware. I never said, hey, we should boycott Bioware. We should boycott them just because this guy says racist things. That's not the right thing to do. Actually, no. I have absolutely no particular stance uh, right to decide what is right to do is what's not right to do. Instead, what I'm going to do is just to show you the opinions that uh, Matthew here has, my own perspective on this, and you, you as a customer, you get to decide whether or not this person deserves your money or whether or not this person doesn't deserve the money. You know, that's the power that you have as a consumer. Vote with your wallet. And I have absolutely no authority to control what you can vote with your wallet. I can only give you my opinions, my personal advice, my personal recommendation, maybe. But I'm not going to force you to say, hey, go see this. Go, go freaking, uh, you know, ban this guy out. I can probably recommend, you know, I, I've, I've shilled to Katawa Shoujo a lot. But that's just, you know, that's a form, that's just a positive response. That's a positive, you know, a positive incitement of action. Like, it's not like a negative thing. I don't want to incite negative actions to a particular developer or a particular company, including to Feminist Frequency. Yes, I disagree vehemently on that, but I never said, hey, ban these people. No. Criticize these people. Let's have, let's engage in ideas, in this battle of ideas. Let's engage in this war of ideas that we're being involving in. And with the peak of the presidential election, we have never been involved in this huge, huge war of ideas. In this battle of ideas that we've been living in. Lots and lots of arguments have been thrown in. Lots and lots of points have been debunked or made. And we need to have that sort of conversation. So to wrap this up, I don't want... I, I think Manfred Hare is a horrible, horrible, horrible person. He, he is a racist, a racist against white people. And I find that to be unacceptable. But I am not going to ban him from Bioware. I don't have the power to. I'm not going to ask people to go to Bioware and say, hey, ban these people. I am instead asking all of you guys to have a conversation. And yes, uh, it might be turned out to an unreasonable conversation, but 
having a conversation nonetheless will just show the kind of character that we're dealing with here. It will just show you, hey, this is the kind of person because the actions speak louder than the words. If we want to, if we are offering an engagement, uh, engaging in ideas, if we offer these people, hey, let's combat, let's fight on this battle of ideas. Let's use, I'm going to use my pen. You're going to use your pen, your pen. Let's have a conversation with all of this. If they refuse to have this conversation, they refuse to use this pen and it's that resorted in, I'm going to take your pen away. I'm going to block you out of the conversation. That's just their action. That's just the action that they do. That just shows so much of their character. Again, I disagree with the notion that we should fire him. I, dis I agree vehemently with the notion that we should have a conversation. And if that conversation doesn't happen, again, that just shows to you the kind of character we're dealing with here. Should we fire him after all that? After mass blocking people? After we find out that he cannot accept dissent? Cannot appreciate dissent? No. What I'm asking you is to form your own actions, to make your own actions, make your own decisions. By having this conversation, we're showing the kind of character that we're dealing with here. We're showing the kind of attitude that this person is. By having that conversation, you can make your own decision whether or not Bioware deserves your money or whether or not he deserves your money or whether or not you still want to buy Massive Andromeda after all of this. It depends on you. And I'm not going to ask you I'm not going to demand you to go to boycott Bioware. No, that is your action. That is your own. Uh, that is, that's the kind of conclusion that you form by your own. That's not for me to decide. That's you for, that's for you to decide. I don't have an authority. I don't want to have an authority over you. You have to decide the decision to whether or not you need, you want to support Bioware after all of this. Now, personally, I, this is just one of the myriads of reasons why I don't want to support Bioware. Bioware has done so many things that has been very questionable to me in my eyes, so... And I don't want to support any of their games because of the mistakes that they have done in the past. And this is just extending one of the reasons for me to not support Bioware. This is just an extension of the many reasons of why I don't want to support this company anymore. I'm not saying that you should stop supporting this company. I'm just giving in my thoughts and my opinions. You have the choice not to follow it. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead, click the like button and subscribe for more if you wish. You can support me on Patreon. And thanks for watching.